I'm Shannon. How are you guys today on this morning slash afternoon slash evening slash whenever you're watching this? Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup for absolutely no reason. We've been in quarantine for over a year now, and the only time I go outside is to work. So I figured it's time, about time in my life, I do a bit of a more extravagant makeup look. And I wanted some company while I did it, so I brought you guys along for the ride. Today, we're kind of going for an e-girl look. I was inspired by the ladies of TikTok for this one, so I figured we could chill out, uh, drink some coffee, and do our makeup together, and listen to some tunes while we're at it, so I'll pop in and out of here. Um, right now I'm just doing my eyebrows. I've pretty much done my eyebrows the same way my whole life. Use a pencil to outline them and then fill them in with eyeshadow. Really the fun stuff here today is gonna be the eye makeup look. So I'm priming my eyes. I've already primed my whole face with my e.l.f. primer. And we're going for pink today, everybody. I'm using a lot of Too Faced today. This is a Too Faced palette, as you can see. Forgot to show you at first, but I remembered. To be honest, I want you to ignore everything I'm doing <laughs> under my eye at this point because I'm not sure what hot mess um, I was going for here, but we do take it off. We, we get it together in a, in a minute, in 30 seconds, so just bear with me while I do this mistake. <laughs> But don't you dare say that it's too bad you're too too face to ever pick a side And it's too bad you're too too face to make up your fucking mind We'll split you down the middle This will only hurt a bit It's too hard being two faces in it It's too hard being two faces in it Thought maybe the highlighter would help under the eye, but it did not. <laughs> In fact, it made it worse, but we're, we're getting to uh, the point where I fix it up. Don't worry, we're almost there. Here we go. Get it together, Shannon. You figured it out. Finally realized I looked like I had been punched in the eye, so I had to do a little switcheroonie on that one. I did want some sort of detailing under my eye, but instead of going for an entire like raccoon under eye, I decided to do the very stereotypical e-girl crying, drippy look. I've really been trying to pull my skin together recently, so I've been very sparse on uh, skin products. I really don't like to cover my skin with makeup because I break out all the time when I do. Hydrate people also. Um, so I really just use a tiny little bit of foundation over my spots and even out all the redness. And other than that, I try to keep it um, as free and breathing as possible. Sorry, I suck at staying in frame. I did not realize. 
I am the, the absolute worst at doing eyeliner on camera, for the record. I went back in with the darker pink under my eyes because you just couldn't quite see what I was going for. I still looked a little bit bruised. I wanted it to be more defined. Now I'm using my clear lash glue and some glitter from ColourPop to really make this crying effect sparkle. Doing the same with my brow bone highlight and the inner corner. Time for a little e-girl blush, and don't forget the nose. Time for lashes. Pull the look together, girl. And while those are drying and getting tacky, I'm gonna do some lipstick. We uh, disavowed every star, but I still have not finished this <laughs> lipstick, so we're gonna use it. put my lashes on with my fingers because I feel like I have so much better control over that than tweezers. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I cannot use tweezers. I suck with them. A little bit of black eyeliner underneath the bottom lash line. Powder to set the look and my skin. That's the only other thing I do for my skin is powder. Unicorn snot lip gloss. It's some of my favorite stuff. It's a little sticky, but it's so glittery. And now, a setting spray. This is the finished look. Honestly, not only was this look inspired by e-girls, but it was inspired by this top and these shoes that I got that I absolutely love and wanted to wear even if it was just in my bedroom. So thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. I love you a ton and I will see you in my next video. But before we go, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to all of my patrons. I want to give a big thank you to my tier two supporters, which are Emerson, Cynthia, Eric, Densky, Hannah, Jonathan, Lo, Tasha, Tony, Brooklyn, Cody, Taylor, Gabby, and Lucy. 
And the biggest thank you of all, as always, goes to my tier three patrons, who are my boy Mikey and my girl Ashlyn. You two are my biggest supporters on this earth, and I can't thank you enough. All of you who follow me on Patreon, who subscribe to me on Patreon, support everything I create and everything I do, including my videos and my music. I couldn't do it without you, and I can't express how much it means to me. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm supposed to make it now, cause no one